today. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. see Matthew Stafford and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out comes the San Francisco offense as they are led out by their quarterback, the man known as Jimmy G. That's Jimmy Garoppolo. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense? The next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? From the 22, Garoppolo. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a give right side. It's Mitchell. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. The first catch of the game for George Kittle, and he's got this down to the 35. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one... He looked like one of those guys. Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. 
They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback in his 13th NFL season now. It's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches, so as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. <laughs> Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. They'll run this with Akers. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 39. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing a Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cum. That catch good for five. It's third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And not enough on the throw that time as that one is incomplete. So now the Rams send out the field goal team here. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Gay's kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on me, I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the, start, it, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that. really good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. I love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Flushed out right. 
And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to have the short field here as they take over right at the 50. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And some space here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the red zone now, Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Nine-yard line, second and six. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Touchdown, Rams! Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams have taken the lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 10-3. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Well, the Niners going back on offense now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drop. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Under pressure, they got him again. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Garoppolo looks to throw. Lines up and lets it go for Samuel. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off around the 41. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with great starting field position up near the 50, they might be one completion away from stealing a late field goal here. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw complete there to Beckham. And he's brought down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. going to get the football first here and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started and they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it the Rams offense ready to begin quarter number three 
And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Now Stafford. Trying to find cut, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. He was brought down by Troy Reeder. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Steps away. And this one too low. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat. And if he flushes out, they're fine with that. And they force another incompletion. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Now Garoppolo. Able to haul it in as Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. It's first and 10 at the 14. Now Garoppolo lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. I know one thing. The team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Back to throw. Stafford. They'll get this one to Cup complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Four yards remain for second down. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. That'll be caught, it's Cup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 27. They'll toss this right side to Cam Akers. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. First 
We're off of play action. Here's Stafford. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll look to run with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers taking it in from two yards out. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead is now 17-3. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So Jimmy Garoppolo in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 53 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. There's Garoppolo on first and 10. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the safety, Eric Weddle. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. And that one, Charles, is just going to about wrap up what was no doubt a dominating defensive performance. Yeah, I don't care what team it is. I don't care who you play, whether they're strong offensively or not. Just giving up three points in the NFL, that's absolutely a dominant performance and one that they can build on. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll go again here with Akers. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now. Because